This journaling card was created in response to a challenge that we are doing in our Facebook group. I will link the Facebook group in the description below, so hop on over and join us. I think this is going to be fun. My name is Peg. I call my channel 2 Old Clothes Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel. I try to put out 8 to 10 minute videos that are quick and to the point. If you hit that notification bell, you'll know when I upload additional content. So let's talk just a bit about this weekly challenge. I refer to it as a wheel of wonder because I wonder what I'm going to create when Cindy spins that wheel. She will spin the wheel, three spins. Each spin delivers a mixed media item. Those three items must be used to create anything your creativity will allow you to do. So I'm going to turn it over to Cindy for the first spin. In the Wheel of Wonder for the first week's challenge, we have 25 items on our list. And let's see what the first item is. Texture. And the second item. Vellum, and the third item, junk mail. So that's it, texture, vellum, and junk mail. We have our challenge. We need to create something using these three items, vellum, texture, and junk mail. So let's get started and figure out what we're going to do. I took a walk to the mailbox after I received this spin and this gurney catalog was, was delivered today. So what a perfect timing. And I love the colors, the bright colors of that asparagus on the front cover. Of course, green is one of my favorite colors. So I am going to utilize this asparagus as my junk mail piece. So I'm just trimming it down a little bit, trying to decide what to do. And I think I'm going to use this thinlet die I have. I'm placing it over that green to try to determine where to cut this die from. And I'm going to stick that in my Big Shot. And we'll use this little leafy strand. And I'm going to cut two or three of those out of that bright green or that beautiful asparagus green color. Once I have those cut, I have decided that I am also going to use this piece of junk mail as my stencil to put some texturing paste onto my vellum. So I'm going to pull my vellum out and where I cut that little um, sprig, I am going to use that area as my stencil. And this is kind of flimsy paper, so I'm just going to tape it down to make sure that it stays in place when I pull that texture paste through. And of course I make my own texture paste. I'll link the recipe up above if you haven't used it before. And I'll pull that off and I think that looks good. I think that's a soft little subtle representation. I got a, a little bit here. I'm going to try to get that off. We'll work with that or cover it up in the future. And I think I'm going to lay this vellum over the top of this white cardstock and just create this journaling card. So I have the three sprigs and let's just kind of determine some placement. So I want to cut that down to four inches by six inches. I think that's a nice size for a journaling card. So let's just get that cut into that dimension. So now we have that. We'll do the same thing with the vellum. There's that texture piece laying atop, atop that. That looks good. We'll trim this down to the same size, that 4 inch by 6 inch. So now we have our two pieces. And I think that's, that's going to look good. But now where to put those sprigs? And I'm going to try that with a little baby wipe to get that off where we where I kind of made a little mess there and, and it came off fine. 
So I'm going to put two sprigs I've decided on the vellum surrounding the texture paste. So we have that soft texture pasted sprig in the center and the two green ones flagging it on each side or surrounding it on each side. So I'm just going to use some art glitter glue because it dries transparent and I will glue this down one on each side of the texture paste image. And there we go. A little glue to him. I think he'll look good right there. And now <clears throat> that is in place. So let's take this other guy and let him peek through the vellum. So we'll just flag him right on the side here. Let's get him glued down, or her. There we go. There, that looks nice. So now we have our foundation for this piece. We've used the vellum, we've used the junk mail, and we've used the texture paste. So we have used all three things. I'm punching a hole here in the top, and I'm looking for some sari silk to pull through that hole. And I found this ivory sari silk, which I think goes well with what we have going on here. So I'll just loop that through. And I'm going to tie a little bow with what is left over. And I think put that at the bottom of our little bouquet that we have created here. And I'll glue that on or into place with that glitter glue as well. There we go. And I think it needs some additional color. So I'm going to pull out my script stamp and just stamp along the edge of this card in fern green. And I have a little butterfly. I'm going to stick the butterfly right up here in the center and just kind of make this look like the butterfly is flying across this page. So there we go. And I think we need one more little butterfly on the front. And that's not enough. I think I'm going to put the little half wing down here at the bottom and maybe one more up top. I like to do things in odd numbers. So there are three little butterflies, three little sprigs. I'm going to ink around the outside edge of this with this fern green. So I'm inking around the vellum and the card. And I think I'm going to glue that vellum down because it, you know, when it's loose, it's not really tight enough against that cardstock to see what's underneath. So I've decided to make it one piece and I'm going to tighten up those edges and just glue around. And I, I could take this to the sewing machine and sew, and I might do that later. But for right now, let's just glue it down and see how that looks. There. I think I'm happy with, a, with what I've created with those three things. So remember, our challenge was to utilize vellum, texture paste, and junk mail in the creation of an item. I chose to make a journaling card. Here is what I did. I challenge you to do the same. So I would love for you to post what you create in the Facebook group. I have put the link in the description for you to hop on over and join us. Once again, my name is Peg and my channel. I hope you will take a moment to subscribe to Two Old Crows Mixed Media. We try to deliver content that is quick, concise, and to the point. So I hope you'll hop on over and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we upload additional things. I appreciate you being here, and I appreciate all of your comments. Bye for now.